Today is a day where we received two great big lemons. Uh, one of our lemons we turned into lemonade. And that is, we are super excited to be able to allow our cats to go outside. We are building an outdoor, fully enclosed with chain link playground. Hi everyone. And construction today came to a halt. And today was gonna be the day we were finished. All they have to do is do the surround. We just do the surround uh, chain link around and we were gonna be finished. But we realized that it's okay because while we were really excited to allow these babies to go outside, well, first I, sh first I should explain to you why. Why our construction is on halt, is halted. This is Janice. This is Janice. And uh, it's kind of like when we were building our, our um, when we were building this sanctuary, it was supposed, um, they were supposed to start in the fall and be completed by October. And they didn't even start uh, until the next spring. And that was really good because we were able to uh, basically fundraise to get bigger windows in. So that was a really good, that was really good. Oh, good, you got two ads. Yay! So for us, for this sanctuary, we got pushed back almost a year, and it was, it, it actually was a blessing. So we know that it's a blessing that our outdoor fenced-in area. Hi, Griggs. Hi, Briggsy. I always say Griggs, but it's Briggs. We are going to plant catnip. We've got lots of cat-friendly bushes and, and all kinds of stuff planned out here. So this area, um, when Julie pulled the permit for the entire six years ago, for, for this entire cat sanctuary, the permit was for, um, she could do a fence around the entire property. And who knew that you have to have a special permit for, cat, for cats, for fences, taller than six feet. Did you guys know that? Yes, please hit the like button, everyone. So because we don't have a permit for, a, for our 10 feet fence, Julie had to pay $65 and apply for a permit. So that's what we're waiting for, which is good news because now we will bring in black dirt and sod and get our backyard. And we have more time to do our backyard. So it's okay. Um, our sandbox back there is a great big mofo kitty litter box, okay? For all of you who go, oh no, they're gonna poop and pee in there. Well, yeah, that's what we hope they do. We hope they use that instead of the grass. We know they're gonna use the grass, but we're gonna encourage them it, to use the kitty litter box. We are not stupid, y'all. Okay, maybe I am. This is Janice, maybe I am. So that was one, that was one big lemon. Uh, we got here, the, the um, county showed up at, at noon and said, you guys have to fill out a permit and that's okay. So of course they're gonna go everywhere. They're outside, who cares? We're gonna have a path where p visitors and people can walk along. And I guess if they go in the grass, they go in the grass. It's just like at your house, right? I have neighbors that have outdoor cats. I, I very seldom find cat poop in my yard. Actually, I don't think I ever find cat poop in my yard. You know what I find? Dog poop. I find dog poop. 
cats like to poop in sand and, and they like to go into the neighbor's sandbox and poop. So that's what we're hoping for. Cats use the sandbox. <clears throat> so there you go. Yeah, we hope we go, we hope that they go out there. We'll pluck out the poopies, put them into a, a, a garbage bag, I, I, whatever. And I, you know what? Yeah, I, we don't know if cats are gonna poop out, poop on the grass, but you know what? Who cares? These guys get to be outside again, right? These guys get to be outside again. There's Julie and Caleb trying to figure out what they're gonna be doing out there. So we are waiting now on our permit for a 10 feet high, 10 feet high um, fence. And the other sad, sad, sad story for today um, is somebody found a kitten that had an injury, probably due to, I bet a coyote got into the nest. And as the coyote or coyotes were munching on the babies, this one got away, but had an injury. This kitten was able to get away from whatever wild animals probably ate all of his siblings. And some person found this injured kitten about eight weeks old um, and waited a full day and they contacted Julie this morning at 10 a.m. and said it's got a really bad injury on it uh, and Julie said Ugh, bring it here bring it here get it here now she said it's got maggots so they brought it to Julie this poor tabby was beautiful and she was crying um, Chris drove uh, Maggie Pie or Magpie, I think we named her Magpie. Julie, uh, Chris drove Magpie to the vet. Uh, I'm sure she sped because this little girl, I have a video, she cried the whole way. She was hurting. Do you know that these maggots were literally eating her alive? Can you imagine how painful that was? And for all the people who think barn cats have it great and the mamas have babies and you know what? Coyotes eat them. And yeah, coyotes have to have to live there's lots of rodents and mice and whatever, but I don't know if you love cats, it's, it's sad. And this kitten literally was eat, being eaten alive by maggots. And when they got to the vet and the vet looked at the kitten and said, Oh, good Lord, we got a, it's too much. So she was euthanized. She was put out of her misery. If you see an injured animal, please don't wait. Please don't wait. Go get help. Had, had these people contacted us last night, you know what? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <sighs> if you see an injured animal, please have compassion. Do something. Do something. Please do something. She would have survived had... had you know, thank God that at least she did something today. But if she would have done something yesterday, this little girl, she would have lived. So that was the second one. We were able to help Magpie. I think that's what her name is. Um, go to heaven and not be in pain anymore. So we are devastated over that. We are devastated over her sad short life that we know about her. So please spay and neuter even on farms neuter those cats so that so that they don't re keep reproducing and there's so much suffering can you imagine the pain that little girl went through chris said all the way to the vet she cried and and she took a video of it and it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking michelle 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 she looks like she could be on shrek the ogre <laughs> isn't she gorgeous Michelle, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Look at her cute little tongue. Isn't she adorable? So, we yes, we go live. We are trying to fundraise to, to keep our sanctuary going and keep helping as many cats as we can. So our two lemonades today are A, lemonade A, lemonade number one, our fence project is on hold because 
Ju we didn't know, Julie didn't know that we needed a permit for a fence that's taller than six feet. So she paid the permit fee and they said it would take 10 to 15 days. So we're waiting for that. And then the next sad lemon and um, is that magpie is in heaven. She was a kitten that the vet said probably was trying to be eaten by a coyote or maybe even a bird, an owl, a hawk, an eagle, a bird, crow. She escaped and had an injury and during that injury, flies laid maggots, eggs. Is it flies lay eggs or whatever in her? <clears throat> and they basically were eating her. So magpie is crossed over. She is not in any pain anymore. Please neuter stray cats, especially on in barns out in the country. There's little Debbie. Julie and I are closing tonight. So we will be on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok tonight. And awesome, Mary Ellen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, thank you, Jill. Our, our raspberry lemonade is that uh, almond was adopted today. So we have a, we had a good day today too. Hi Jesse. So we had a good day today. Almond went home. Doris is doing absolutely amazing. If you are looking for an older kitty, she is amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, all of our cats are amazing, right, Michelle? Isn't she isn't she just the picture of beauty? Michelle, you gorgeous girl. You gorgeous. Isn't she gorgeous? Here, I'm gonna pet her. She's not gonna like it though. Hi, Michelle, you are so pretty. I just love you. I just love you. Do you wanna bite me? No? Okay. All right, well, we will be going live tonight. So watch for me and Julie. There's Jimmy Dean. Um, please follow us on social media and you guys tag as many people as you can and like and subscribe and We are on Twitch. Our handle is furball underscore farm. Thanks for watching Remember to please neuter the stray cats on your property so cats like magpie so that her death was not in vain All right. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye